G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who've never been here before, welcome to my channel for the first time. I hope you enjoy uh, the material that I'm going to put out. So, as the uh, heading of my uh, vlog says, uh, am I still buying coins and will I continue to still buy coins? Absolutely. 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 <laughs> Don't want to swear there and get a, a knock from YouTube or anything like that. Look, the market cap just continues to go up. We're at the very early stages, you know, we were at 800 billion, you know, we we're getting close to a trillion back in the, you know, the peak of 2017. We're at 366 billion at the moment. We're not even remotely close to where we were before. So as long as you've done your research and you believe in the products, you know, in the, you know, the coins that you're going to invest in, why wouldn't you keep buying at the moment? Now, obviously, there's going to get a point where it might not be the smartest idea uh, to continue to invest. Uh, but look, I'm not giving you financial advice. This is just my personal opinion. But until Bitcoin reaches its all time high. I will continue to uh, invest money. And I do on a fortnightly basis. I continually put more money in. Now, with a couple of exceptions. So let's go to Bitcoin. So we go down here and we want to have a look at the uh, max chart. All right. Bitcoin is only roughly halfway to its last all time high halfway anyone who thinks well i can't say that because that'll probably get me in trouble but in my opinion absolutely i i wouldn't have an issue with uh continuing to invest invest in bitcoin right up until it reached its all old time high because it's most likely only going to go higher and in saying that bitcoin uh is one of the few coins that i will just continue to uh, dca so dollar cost average in so every fortnight uh when i have some spare money Guess what I do? I buy Bitcoin. No ands, ifs, uh, 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 no ands, ifs or buts about it. I'm just investing Bitcoin. Uh, it's the best asset uh, of all time. So far, it's outclassed anything. Now that's in you know, it, it's only been around for sort of you know eleven years. So it, it's you know it's still very new and it still hasn't reached its you know kind of plateau of where it's really going to sit in the grand scheme of things and i think it's just got massive upside less left massive so i will continue to invest in bitcoin uh even possibly through the bear markets you know we'll have to wait and see but uh, i have no problems investing until we get to its uh old all-time high and then again, I'll probably just DCA. I'll just continue to dollar cost average. You know, I built myself a, a reasonable position sort of after this crash here. And, you know, I bought back here and watched it, you know, go down. So, you know, I've been through the cycles and, you know, I believe Bitcoin is the future, the best, you know, the best performing asset that's going to be around for, for at least possibly my lifetime. I don't know if I'll ever see another... Uh, asset perform as well as bitcoin so i'm into bitcoin and i will continue to buy there's i'm not going to stop buying again maybe once we get to you know above twenty thousand, i'll have to you know consider you know pick a point where i think bitcoin's going to get if i think bitcoin's going to get to fifty thousand, then i probably don't want to buy after thirty five thousand. i'll probably start to save my money but if i believe bitcoin's going to go to a hundred thousand, then i'll probably you know keep dollar cost averaging right up to sort of fifty thousand, maybe even seventy five thousand. then i'll wait for the retrace before i put more in but even then again maybe i'll just continue to buy bitcoin non-stop because you know I, I can't predict exactly where it's going to go i, I think fifty thousand uh is so easy in this next bull run and uh like plan b has said i, I don't think two hundred eighty-eight thousand dollars per bitcoin uh, is out of the question once it re once it reaches its you know next you know all-time high uh could quite possibly do that could even go higher like you know no one knows it's so hard to tell but i think definitely yeah minimum fifty thousand i can see it going to there easy so really at around that fifty thousand dollar mark i'll i'll make my decision but you know quite possibly i'll just keep dollar cost averaging in i think bitcoin's going to be around for the long term and i think in 10 or 20 years time i would not be surprised if bitcoin was 
you know, half a million dollars, a million dollars, maybe even more. You know, we'll have to wait and see. Not financial advice, but yes, I am still buying Bitcoin. Ethereum. I think Ethereum is going to be around for a long time. A long time. And I believe out of the big major caps, it will probably be the best performer out of the big major caps in this bull run. So this is where Ethereum is right now. Not even $400, and last it was worth $1,400. So it's got a ton of room to go, a ton of room, at least a 3, 4x. So am I still buying? Yep, I'm still buying. I am buying Ethereum, I'm dollar cost averaging. Again, same thing, every fortnight I have my money uh, and it goes into Ethereum. Uh, and again, uh, I, I think of Ethereum a lot like uh, Bitcoin now. I believe in its uh, fundamentals. I believe it's going to be around for a long time. There's tons of adoption happening, you know, you know, with Ethereum. I may just continue to dollar cost average in, but my only theory is that you know, once you get to a certain point, and it's hard to know where, but I probably wouldn't want to dollar cost average into Ethereum after here, because this is just that parabolic stuff. Once it really goes parabolic, that's probably when I'll stop dollar cost averaging, and I will wait for it to come back you know, to a roundabout whatever price it was when it went parabolic, and then I'll start to look at dollar cost averaging, you know, and these kind of real big, you know, parabolic things, it's probably better to just save my money uh, and wait until the prices fall down and then start to dollar cost average back in. Because I can't pick the exact top and I can't pick the exact bottom. So all I know is I'll keep dollar cost averaging in until I just feel that it's gone really parabolic. It's in you know, that massive kind of parabolic stage, I don't want a dollar cost average in then. I'll, I'll basically, you know, it'll take me a long time to recoup my money. So I wouldn't have too much problem if I, you know, had bought Ethereum here uh, and we got down to these lows considering it's going back up. But hindsight's an easy thing. So it's easy to say that I've been through a cycle or two now and I can say that others would find it really hard. XRP. Now it's one of the most hated coins out there. God, it gets some flack, you know, the, the XRP army. People like to just hate on it because it's the banker's coin and all the rest of it. And look, I get it. I do get it. But banks aren't going anywhere in a hurry. And if any money, any form of value is truly going to be adopted worldwide, it's going to be something that can be controlled. It's not going to be Bitcoin. I'm not saying Bitcoin won't be used worldwide. It will be, uh, but it won't be like the you know the the transactional value uh, for, for the whole world governments can't control it they you know the can't you know it's hard for them to get uh you know off their heads around it at the moment half of them don't even really understand it so xrp yeah i, I think it's going to be around and i think it's going to do well so yes i'm still buying xrp i don't dollar cost average into xrp too much i i built my position a little while ago i was buying around sort of I think 18 cents, I got it for in around the 22 cents and 25 cent range. I built a fairly good position there, at least for me. I won't be a millionaire or anything from it, uh, unless it goes to $10,000 a coin like some people are saying, then I'll be a millionaire. Short of that, uh, I definitely won't be a millionaire. But I've got my position and I will add a little bit here and there. But likewise with the other coins, once it really starts to go parabolic, I could handle buying, you know, XRP here back at a dollar eighteen, but once you start to buying it up into the two, three dollars mark, that's just really it takes too long to recoup that kind of money. So again, that's not to say that I don't think it's going to go much higher than this in this run. I, I, I do. I would not be surprised if XRP doesn't get up to around sort of, I don't know, the eight, nine, ten dollar range. And look, it could go a whole lot higher. You know, I don't like to do price predictions. I don't really know, but yeah. I, my gut feeling says that our XRP is going to go over five dollars and possibly up to about eleven or twelve dollars, but we'll have to wait and see. And I've got my, you know, my targets that I want to meet, uh, where I'll sell off some of that XRP. So definitely uh, still uh, getting into XRP at the moment. Uh, it's still cheap, and I'll probably continue to buy it right up to around about sort of a dollar. I just won't be dollar cost averaging every fortnight. Something else I'm uh, still happy to buy. I think there is a ton of potential. Ada, have a look at that. So what is it now? It's trading at 13 cents. It was trading at $1.18.
at its peak. And again, you know, I can't tell you exactly what eight is going to go to this time, but I wouldn't be surprised if it went to three or four dollars. Would not be surprised. That's not to say it will, uh, but I wouldn't be surprised. So let's say it just reaches its all-time high of a dollar eighteen. It is currently fourteen cents. It's basically a ten x nearly, a little bit less than a ten x. But from its current price, just to get to its old all-time high. That's a 10x investment, and I believe it'll do it too. I think, you know, Cardano's got a good future ahead of it. You know, it's finally got the staking happening. Now it's just got to get enterprises getting on board and all the rest of it, uh, and it's pretty kind of Gucci tech, so I think Ada's going to be around. Do I think it's an Ethereum killer? No, no, not at the moment. Could it be in the future? Yes, but there's a lot of other projects that are coming out. Polkadot's something that interests me. Uh, Cosmos, I'm uh, into Cosmos. I want to get some Polkadot. I don't have any at the moment. Because they're all tech that are, they look pretty good. But we'll have to wait and see whether I get into them. Right, VeChain. Likewise again. I think VeChain has got a future. Uh, it's got partnerships going on. Uh, you know, adoption. Uh, it looks like it's actually going to be used. Uh, and was that the max yet? So we're still getting pretty close to its all-time high, but I'm not too worried. Uh, you know, I, I built my position a little a little while ago, so I've done a right in V chain. But I, I think V chain's got a future, and we'll have to wait and see. Uh, am I dollar cost averaging into V chain? No. Not at, not at the moment. That's not to say I won't ever put some more money into it on occasions, but I'm not dollar cost averaging. But yep, I'll probably put a few more dollars into VeChain along the way. Now, lastly, I just want to get into uh, a, a trade that I, I did. And I want to thank Frank from uh, Altcoin Buzz. Uh, he put me onto it. Uh, didn't put me onto it personally. <laughs> he put everyone onto it. So if you had a look at Altcoin Buzz's channel and it's Digibyte. So we go over here. Uh, and the 24 hour volume, it was picking up, now it's selling off a little bit. But let's go to the max. And I mean, for the year, it's already up 200%. Now make your own mind up, but this is down where it is at the moment. So it's two cents. And it's been above 12 cents. So I think it's got a long way to go. And when it pumps, it really pumps. You can look, look at that pump comes back down even that was a reasonable pump and that was a good pump I mean that pump right there though it was absolutely insane and when we come across to the actual digibyte chart so this is uh, where we're at at the moment so it's bounced off here a few times so it's really had uh, trouble kind of breaking that 274 Satoshi range uh, and I wouldn't be surprised I got in about up here so I'm already at a loss with digibyte but I'm, I'm not even too worried if it comes back down to here and gets down to that 227 Satoshi range. It, it wouldn't surprise me. But at the moment, it just looks like it's doing this massive coil that we've seen before. And it's coiling and it's coiling, you know, much the same as the Bitcoin chart that we all saw. Uh, and I would not be surprised if it breaks out. And then if we scale out, and hopefully this will show up. No, it's probably not going to. Oh, here we go. Come on. Oh, it's probably not going to show up, but anyway, I think there there's a big upside uh, to this. You know, again, Digibyte's been way higher than before. It just doesn't want to load for me at the moment, and that's fine. But again, we're in this little part here, and this is what Digibyte's done previously. So I think there's massive moves, and particularly, uh, you know, against the BTC. I think this could be a, a great setup for uh, a bit of a trade. Now, I don't day trade, just so you know. That's that's not my thing, and I don't use leverage. Uh, I'm not a leverage trader. I'm not good enough to read the charts and things like that in that kind of sense. So I can definitely read charts. And again, when we go over here and I look at Digibyte, I can see it's just forming that pen, pennant, and it's just... You know, it's starting to coil up, coil up, and I wouldn't be surprised if it maybe came down here, retested this, came up, and then came down, and at some stage, I figure it's going to break out to the upside and, you know, go on a bit of a, a, a run. And again, I'm trying to increase my, you know, BTC and my dollar level, you know, all, all at the same time. More so BTC, you know, dollars on its way down. Uh, and again, if I can outpace 
uh, BTC, then I'll be laughing and I get a feeling Digibyte's going to get on a good run. I mean, look at this run it had back here, you know, from down there to up there. I think that was quite a move. And then it's pulled back and it's, you know, come up to kind of retest this a few times, excuse me, and pulling back. And again, the thing that we're looking at is it's not breaking these highs really. Now we had one sell off point that was a little bit higher. All the rest are a little bit lower, but the lows are getting higher and higher and higher and higher and higher and higher and I just I think it's going to break out to the upside now this is more a swing trade sort of position trade so again I plan on getting in uh, and I'll ride it and I'll see exactly how far it can go and, you know I don't plan on staying in it forever uh, but I will probably you know if I can double triple my money then I'll take out my initial investment uh, maybe even take out my, you know, specifically if I can sort of triple it or, you know, forex it or something like that, then I'll double uh, what I put in, take that out, and then I'll just let the rest ride and we'll just wait and see. But anyway, uh, I've been rambling on for a while, or hopefully, hopefully not rambling on. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, if there's any trades that you've made at the moment and if you're a day trader and how you're going. You know, most of the people I know that you know, try to trade, don't do too well at it. Uh, swing trades and, you know, position trades like this, uh, you know, I've done all right uh, when I've done things like this. And again, it's easy to do things like this when uh, it's a bull market. To try and do these kind of things in a bear market is a whole nother story. And I don't really trade too much at all uh, in bear trades. But when bull markets are on, I'll definitely get out, have a look at the charts, and if I can see a good position to go and kind of get in, where, again, you can see things that are just coiling up like this. Now, look, I don't want you to get confused. It can break to the downside, and look, it may break to the downside. I haven't put my life savings into this. I'll just put a few dollars, you know, more than a few dollars, but not like thousands and thousands of dollars or anything like that. I, I wouldn't do that. I'm not a good enough trader, but I do believe this will likely break to the upside. But not financial advice, just my opinion. Anyway, yes, I'm still buying dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, and XRP, and even still putting a bit of money into Cardano uh, and VeChain along the way. I think those projects have got some legs, among some others. I'll, you know, synthetic networks is at an all-time high at the moment, so I don't know if I'll keep dollar cost averaging, but I may throw some money into it on occasions because it just continues to go up uh, and is one of my best performers. That's it from me. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Hopefully, you're still on that game train. And I'll see you next time.